Okay, so I have decided to put together a tutorial uh, for people on YouTube regarding setting up a secondary amp to the main amp and integrating a PC, a home theater PC that I have. Uh, I was surprised when I, I, I went to YouTube and, and, and all the stuff really only talked about um, uh, you know, using speakers to a different zone. Um, and, and they were all like 10, 12 years old. Um, I, nothing new really, uh, which was surprising since, you know, there's been a lot of technology changes, but anyways, I recently just bought the Onkyo amp, just installed it a couple days ago. Uh, I owned a Pioneer 9.2 system that was 10 years old. Um, Personally, I'm not certain what all the hype was about the Onkyo uh, RZ50, but because my other system sounded pretty darn good, um, and this one doesn't really sound that much better, but uh, uh, but I needed to replace the Pioneer because the uh, main amp, the main power supply in the uh, amp was uh, was was starting to go out. It was um, <clears throat> not turning on sometimes, and then and then it would turn on. So um, anyways, this is a 9.2. I have uh, the nine speakers with the uh, two subwoofers. This is a, another amp that I have also in the same entertainment center. Uh, it's an old uh, Yamaha amp that I've had for a very long time. Um, and it currently powers speakers that are in my formal living room. And then through here, it powers the outside backyard speakers. Um, it also has an HDMI out that goes to uh, a TV on the back of the house uh, for when I have Seahawk games. So that way I can actually play the game over the outside speakers and in the living room uh, ceiling speakers and be able to view the TV, the game on the TV that uh, goes uh, comes out of here. Um, and I have an HDMI cable that goes down in the crawl space and out to uh, uh, the backyard wall or the backyard house wall. Anyways, so that's my setup. And then in here is my family room, which has, you know, it hooks up to a 4K TV and it powers 11 speakers. And then also in the entertainment center, I also have a, a home theater PC, um, small form factor HP. Um, now, I recently, yesterday, bought an RTX 3050 HDMI 2.1 video card. Um, the, the RTX 30, 30 series and 40 series uh, has the latest HDMI 2.1 specs. So I went ahead and bought that because trying to use Netflix through my PC, it was not coming up with Ultra HD uh uh, logo nor was it coming up with Atmos logo um, because apparently it can detect the device it's connected to so uh, so I went ahead and upgraded I had a currently had a GT1 1060 in there and I'm not certain what HDMI probably 2.0 because um, it wasn't that old but uh, uh, but Netflix was not seeing it so it wasn't giving me the option to, it wasn't actually being able to play uh, uh, Dolby Atmos. It wasn't showing up when you looked at the movie information. Uh, after I put the RTX 3050 in there, now I, I see it. It shows up on Netflix. So anyways, um, so I do have an RTX 3050. And um, so that's my setup. The reason why I'm putting this together is because, man, I spent the entire day yesterday trying to figure out how to get this to work, uh, trying different things. And HDMI and I I was able to uh, on my Pioneer I was simply able to go HDMI out to an HDMI port in the back of it and then through this uh, sub zone or the secondary HDMI out on the Pioneer go to the HDMI in and then that would power these speakers but it looks like the latest HDCP 2.3 must make it difficult for that to happen. So it, I could not get the, this setup to work that way. It wouldn't work. Um, so I was trying to figure out a workaround. 
Well, I did find uh, two ways of doing it that I want to share with you. The first way, uh, which ultimately I was able to do, um, well, actually, I'm going to show you, and I don't know if this works because I upgraded the, uh, my, my video card, but I'm going to show you the, the way that most of you should be able to get this to work. So, okay, this is for somebody who doesn't have a video card in their, uh, in their PC that has an HDMI port on the back. Um, uh, this is, this should work for pretty much anybody. And this is to integrate your home theater PC, which may have all your music in it, um, to your Onkyo RZ50 and to your secondary Yamaha, in my case, Yamaha, but secondary amp, um, because everything in the book talks about hooking up this and um, or a lot of it and going with your sub out to a TV. Um, but we're going to talk about and really it doesn't talk about put, hooking up a PC. It talks about hooking up a CD player. Well, you can hook up your PC and there's a few things you need to do. Number one, go to your uh, this is Windows 10 that I have. So you want to go to your Windows 10 and right click on the little speaker at the bottom right hand side and come up here mine defaulted to uh, my nvidia card that i just installed yesterday um, but uh, you want to highlight the uh, the realtek or the pc speaker and then click on default so now any sound is going to be coming out of your headphone jack okay so now that we have that set, sound's going to come out of the headphone jack instead of the uh, NVIDIA card. So with, with that, uh, you want an eighth inch to RCA cable, so an eighth inch headphone plug to a two-channel RCA, and then plug it into your CD or whichever audio in you want to. It doesn't really matter. I hooked it into the, uh, for my example, I hooked it into CD. You want to take the, there's two cables, there's that RCA, 8th inch to RCA uh, cable, and then there's an RCA to RCA cable that you'll need. So um, you'll plug in one end of it into your Zone 2 out, okay, on the back of your Onkyo. And the other one's going to go to one of your audio ends on your secondary amp. In my case, I just use the CD. Um, this amp here services has speaker runs going from this channel uh, to my formal living room this channel goes to my outside speakers cool thing about this amp is that this is considered a that's considered b so that i could actually on the front of it choose hit the speaker input and i can choose a b or a and b so when having a party i'll just have them both both uh output uh the sound output to both sets of speakers outside and in, inside along with my Onkyo. Um, the Onkyo here, I've got 9.2 system, so this powers all the speakers in my family room and or uh, open room, it's family room, kitchen area. And uh, so that's how you hardwire this. Two cables will make this work. Okay. Now what you got to do is do some little bit of programming to set it up. Uh, number one, as I mentioned earlier, set this to your speakers to, to activate this. If you have a video, a additional video card uh, uh, with um, um, HDMI on it. Um, number two, you want to go to the Onkyo amp and turn on this zone two by hitting the zone two button right here and then it's wanting a source and so hit whatever source you you need okay I, in my case I, because i hooked it up to the cd i'll just hit the cd button okay so press the cd button now you've programmed the source so that whatever's playing in the cd in is going to be output on the zone two out which is then going to feed the secondary amp, which is going to go feed the CD input on this amp. Uh, lastly, what you need to do is go to this amp and turn the input to audio CD. 
and there you go it's really easy you can play music from here i can play my spotify from here uh it it sends the music to the cd i just need to make sure i set the cd amp to cd the input to cd and then from uh, uh, from there because we program the zone 2 to cd and turn this on it will then feed this which will feed the speakers that this amp uh, supplies. So one caveat in this setup is that you will on your remote have to switch from PC in my case because I can't I can't see my PC screen when I change the input on the remote on the Onkyo to CD. It goes black. Well, it goes blue actually, but uh, but I can create a have it hit the remote on PC because that's where my PC uh, HDMI is hooked up to. It's hooked up to the uh, PC port. And uh, uh, I can create a playlist. And then once I uh, create the playlist, I can hit play on here or just hit Spotify and turn it, hit, my, hit the playlist. And then uh, hit the CD uh, input on the remote to just now uh, go from the HDMI uh, to the CD um, input here. So there you go. Pretty easy. Two, two cables will make this work. A little bit of programming, you know, doing this, setting that to stereo, um, uh, uh, programming zone two next, and turning the uh, uh, your secondary amp to the audio input you've plugged into. That's it. Programming wise. So come over here. Right click on your speaker on your Windows 10, go to sounds, go to playback, and then go to this one. This is the HD NVIDIA. I don't want the NVIDIA, I want the uh, the PC's audio. And then you set that as default and hit OK. So now sound is going to come out of your headphone jacks. All right, once you do that, then what you need to do is go to your Onkyo receiver and program Zone 2 output. So we're going to press this button here, Zone 2. And we're going to go to CD. Whoops. All right, there it is right there. Now, I know it says PS3 because I've remapped my PS3 to Zone to that audio uh to the cd audio input but if you don't do anything just 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 select whatever audio input you hooked up to um if it's a cd then just press the cd button so again it's hit zone three and hit the cd um button okay now sound is coming out of there into the CD input on the Onkyo. It's going out zone two because we just programmed it to output this, the two channel stereo. And now it's going into the CD input on the Yamaha. What you hear is the sound from the Yamaha in my formal living room. And we can get sound. Oh, <laughs> actually, okay, so that that's, we need to change I need to change off this so here is a caveat here's the only th deal with doing it this way is we're gonna have to change this from PC so I can do the PC so you probably want to create a playlist on here first and then hit CD so I could change the input the actual input on the amplifier and so there's the sound coming out of my 11 speakers in here and I have sound coming out of these two speakers in my living room and I do have these on a volume control okay so there's that setup So that's just the volume down here. 
And to get back to the PC, I just hit my PC button to change the input back to the HDMI uh, PC port. And, I, and I'm back to the PC so that I can add music to a playlist if I want. Oh, the other thing too is I can do, I can also use Spotify. Okay, so uh, I can load Spotify and click on a song and you can hear it coming out of the other amplifier in the family room or in the living room but I'm still on PC mode here so I can see it so I need to switch the input on the Onkyo amp to CD which is where the music is coming from the PC so I'll just press the CD button and now I've got music coming from both coming out of both amps coming out of the main amp in the family room is coming out of the it's coming out of the other uh, Yamaha amp that feeds speakers in the uh, formal living room also I have speakers in the backyard here too but uh, those are turned off right now all right so that's that so the uh, next I will do a uh, uh, the other type of setup using the HDMI <laughs>